Hello everyone. In this video, we will cover how to configure the Prusa Slicer software to be used with the Prusa 3D printers. Double click on the Prusa Slicer shortcut to run the software. The splash screen will appear, followed by the software. In this window, you'll notice there are four tabs on the top. Platter, Print Settings, Filament Settings, Printer Settings. There are also shortcuts of frequently used functions at the top and on the left side. There is also a tooltip, which may pop up with information. You may read it or close it by clicking on the X icon. You may have a print bed shown to you. It may be a mini printer, a MK3S printer, or some other printer. Regardless of what is shown, it is best to reconfigure the software to the available printers. To do this, click on Configuration, then Configuration Wizard. Once the Configuration Wizard is open, let's ensure this is a new configuration. Check Remove User Profiles to remove any pre existing profiles. Then click Next. Currently, you may have access to two types of printers. One of the printers is the Prusa Mini printer. The other printer is the Prusa MK3S printer. You will need to confirm the types of printers available to you with your lecturers, as there may be changes. For this video we will be selecting the Prusa MK3S with 0.4mm nozzle and the Prusa Mini with 0.4mm nozzle. There are no other printers selected. Double check to confirm and click Next. There are no SL printers available. Ensure none are selected and click Next. There are no other brands of printers used. Ensure none are selected and click Next. There are no other custom printers available. Ensure none are selected and click Next. This window is to select the type of filament used with the printer. You will need to confirm the types of filaments available to you with your lecturers, as there may be changes. For this video we will be selecting the Prusament PLA. Double check there are no other filaments selected. If you are required to use another filament, mentioned by your lecturer, select it as well. An easy way to select the filament needed and deselect the rest is to click None, then select the necessary filament. Then click Next. Check both checkboxes to allow software updates notifications and preset updates. Then click Next. Reload from disk is necessary if you'll be storing your STL files and 3D manufacturing format files separately. Usually, this is unchecked. Click Next. File allocation allows the file types to be tagged to the Prusa Slicer software. Checking the .stl file box allows Prusa Slicer to automatically run and read a STL file when the STL file is opened. Click Next. Select Expert Mode to have access to all the settings. This also means you must be careful when setting up your print as a misclick may change any number of settings. Do not check use inches as our STL files are in millimeters. Finally, click Finish. Now the configuration is complete. You can check it by clicking on the drop-down menu for printer. There will be two printers available, Prusa Mini and Prusa MK3S. When MK3S is selected, the print bed changes to the MK3S print bed. When Mini is selected, the print bed changes to the Mini print bed. It is important the correct printer is selected before importing STL files or making any changes. Check with your lecturer if you are unsure of the configuration. Incorrect configurations will cause a failed print job and may damage the printer.